Yellow. So girl, I was actually told by a little birdie that Dose of Colors was releasing a new eyeshadow palette. And girl, when I heard the news, I was like, let me see what this is all about, girl, because their previous eyeshadows, I was like, I need that girl, but I can't afford the damn shipping. I don't actually own anything from Dose of Colors, and that's so unfortunate just because I am in Canada, and it's not that it's that it's not accessible to me. Of course it is. I could buy through online. It just, oh, does anybody really want to pay those shipping prices? Like, no, when I could literally get a, say, something else, like another lipstick or another whatever at Sephora where I'm not paying the shipping. So my friend told me to go check out Trend Mood's Instagram page because that's where the post was posted. I'm like so excited because although like I, I don't buy a lot of makeup, I'm a, a huge online window shopper girl. Let me know if you is too. I like to just see products and be like, okay, maybe I will purchase that. Maybe I won't, girl. Or maybe this is trash. Maybe it's not trash. You know what I mean? Okay, girl. So I pulled up the picture on Trend Moods. I'm on my laptop. Keep in mind. It's, that's why I'm kind of like trying to hide myself from the image. And... Okay, here we go. Ready? <gasps> yes! Oh my god. Okay, I love... Okay, I hope my screeching doesn't sound fake. I feel like people are probably gonna be like, oh, this guy's damn fake. I'm like, ah! But no, I'm, I'm genuinely like, I'm, no, sorry. I'm genuinely like loving this. Like this is like my kind of palette. This is like a mini Renaissance palette. I will insert pictures kind of throughout the video so that way you guys are kind of looking for, looking with me for some impressions kind of thing. Girl, I feel like I have lipstick going on everywhere. Like, come on. This is, this is sweet. I love this. Like, honestly, like if it comes down to it, cause I, do, I am on the hunt for a new eyeshadow palette. I have been for a couple weeks now. If this is the palette that's going to be the one that I've been looking for, girl, then honestly, I need it. Let me read Trend Mood's caption. It's almost here, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Dose of Colors new eyeshadow palettes. Fall 2017. Fall 2017, girl, we are in the end of November, girl. We're almost reaching December. Fall has left, it is long gone. Hashtag Sassy Siennas. Oh, that's what the palette is called, Sassy Siennas. I kinda like that name, like Sassy Siennas. I don't know who Sienna is, girl, but I wanna, I wanna pick up Sienna. Will be available December, December what? Girl, there's no December date. We'll keep you updated about the other palette, Blushing Berries. Another palette, and Blushing Berries, does that not sound like amazing? I'm wearing like kind of like a mo like mauvey purples. Like, you know what I mean? Like berries, when you think of berries, you're gonna think of like a purpley pink palette. What the hell? Sorry, oh, I didn't mean to swear. But like, what the heck? Like, I want the, I want to see the berries one too, but anyways, let's concentrate on the Sienna. Okay, I'm lying. There's a picture within this like little grid that Trend Mood had created of the com swatch comparisons of Sienna's versus berries. Like I said, the berries are very like pinky tones and then the Sienna's are very orangey tones and that is a perfect mixture of the Renaissance palette. That's why I think I am gravitating kind of towards this palette because it's similar to what I have, Morphe 350, Renaissance, Carly Bible, like all those like pinky oranges, like all that stuff. I want this, I, tr I truly do like this. Like there are five shades, five is literally enough for me because I don't, I'm not like a crazy makeup person. Like I don't like throw on like a ton of product or sorry, thought of shit, a, a bunch of shades. I like this, you get, you go from like your very light pinks to your kind of like medium browns into your darker browns. And I love that because then you have like a nice transition color or a lid color and then you could smoke it out with like the dark brown. I like that. And I really do want this palette. I think it is going to be a very everyday palette. It is very universal. Anybody can of course wear these colors. That's what I like. I like a palette that is targeted for, or not targeted for, but mainly made for the everyday basis because then it's not like I'm gonna have to be like, oh girl, what do I do with this green shade? You know what I mean? But yes, I definitely want to purchase this. If I, in the moment, have the money, if I am willing to pay the shipping at the time, then absolutely, girl. If not, then it looks like we're gonna have to result to something else. I just love that this is universal because sometimes you'll get like shades that don't work for everybody, but this will work for everybody. You get, I mean like, why wouldn't it? You get pretty pinks, you get pretty browns, you get this like terracotta color and then the true brown color. This is, this is everybody's dream palette. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't personally know what the quality of Dose of Colors shadows are like just because I don't own any in Girl. I wish I did. I wish I had the money. I wish I wish I could. But from what I've seen online from like a lot of the YouTubers I do watch, they look pretty like quality. They look like they swatch well, the pigmentation is there, girl, it's blendable, it's everything that you expect in an eyeshadow when you spend money, money, money. I don't know actually how much these are. Let me dose of colors. Let me see what the other um five shadow palettes how much they retail for. Oh, they range for $32. 
Oh, and they come with a brush. Yeah, they come with a brush. That's I. You know what? Thirty-two dollars is reasonable, except it's kind of crappy because then you have to convert thirty dollars to Amer to Canadian dollars because I am here in Toronto. Thirty USD to Canadian girl. Then for me, it's going to say be forty-one dollars, and then I guarantee you it'll be ten dollars shipping around there. So it's going to be a fifty-dollar pallet. See, those are the things that kind of like come to mind. Is like, okay, well, sure, can I spend fifty dollars on a dose of colors palette and wait for it to eventually come, or? Can I go to the mall like I do every other day and go to Sephora and pick up, say, a Too Faced palette for about 50 bucks? Something from Tarte or Makeup Forever for that same price and get it immediately. Those are just like the little things that count for me. Anyways, girl, this is coming to the end of my video. If anybody's watching me, if anybody's ever watching me, I always say that because I don't know who's watching. I will talk to y'all in the next video. TTYLs.